Hey guys, Screw Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're here with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Finally, people have been asking for it, and we're here to do it. Yep. Yep. I think so. They. Uh, oh no 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 no! This is a movie reaction. JoJo Rabbit. Oh. oh. Is this the the Easter Bunny one? I believe so. Um, I know one thing about this movie, which I won't say in case no one else knows, but. Anything? Main character's a rabbit. None of us I spoiled. I have no idea if this is even live action or animated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know nothing I about don't this. have a fucking clue. Every time no I fucking heard, clue? I don't know. Uh, every Zero time I clue. heard I don't know what JoJo Rabbit, me. genuinely, yeah. I thought it was JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay, I, it is not. I thought it was a character from that. Rick said that he had watched some of this too, so maybe it's anime. It leads me to believe like, it could it be anime be, then. Yeah. That's a very good or possibility. Or it could be he likes anime. I'm so excited because I know exactly one thing about this movie, and you guys not knowing what that one thing is is making me even. I don't know if it's a drama, an action, a comedy. Uh, I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It is a reaction that people over at Patreon.com/slash/BlindAndWave voted for every other week. There is a poll movie reaction, and then one that we pick. Uh, so this is the one that people picked. Over right now is a poll running. For probably a poll running for the mm. next one as well. So go check those out. Uh, every other week we run a poll for that. And we run polls all the time when we're replacing things. It's a great way to support us if you've never checked out Patreon before. I mean, at the, to be able to vote, it's $1 a month, Aaron. A month. Calvin, how much is that a debt? It's like three cents. You got three cents? That doesn't equal out right, does it? Also, we have a full length over there. Almost a dollar. Okay. Full-length reactions are also over there. Yes, they are a higher tier, but many would say worth it. We're watching this off Amazon Prime, and we're going to get ready to start mm -hmm. Jojo Rabbit, which, again, is about... I don't know. I couldn't be more blind. I mean, I could be blind. Wave. This isn't a Fox fanfare. Is it dubbed or subbed? <laughs> <laughs> Live action? Okay. Wait, are we Jojo Jojo Betzler. Day, you become a man. Is that Hitler? I Did you see Hitler? Divorce, all my it's energies. The Hitler and used. My I'm guessing. The savior of our country, Adolf Hitler. What? I am willing. He's a little Nazi. Ready yeah. To give up my life I mean, for him. Yeah, man, you're ready. <laughs> Wait, what? Adolf. Hmm? Uh, Is he talking to Hitler? I think Adolf? it's. Of course you can. Sure, I know that guy, don't I? Stop! Take a what you And you can't tie your shoelaces even though you're ten years old. But you're still... <laughs> His blue <laughs> eyes are killing me. Yeah. Nazi I've ever met. Okay. Okay. I was not expecting this. This is exactly the only thing I knew. Hitler? Uh, Hitler was in it, and it was Taika Waititi. Why are you playing Beatles? It's... I don't know. I the thing is, is like, Wait. is Hitler like an is imaginary friend? Yeah, that, that's what it seemed like to me. It's like the British invasion. Right? Yeah, well, I was gonna say, this is like what happened with the Beatles, where it's like, oh my god, it's the Beatles, but instead it's Hitler. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's like a. He was like a rock star. What year is he in? I'm gonna say early 40s. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm hoping. Like, I'm hoping it's not in the 2000s. Stephen Merchant, Are Rebel you ready Wilson. For the best weekend ever? Yes, I am! Let's go! Wait, what? The credits. Alfie Allen. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Rockwell. Damn it, Cal. I don't even look at these now. I can't not now. No, I hate you. I missed like the first six. I, oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate you so much. <laughs> I was busy watching trying to figure out stuff about howling Hitler. Jojo. I, I get the Jojo. I don't get the rabbit part. According to my superiors, you need two eyes to be a meaningful part of the war effort. Can two eye people do this? What do you mean? What do you shoot? <laughs> what the hell? Over the next two days, you little critters will get to experience some of the things that the mighty German army goes through every day. <laughs> Done. Ambush! The camouflage! They're throwing rocks down! Now finish him! Now finish him! 
He just crushed that boy's head with a rock or what happened? Man. If you would have asked me what this was about, uh -huh. I had to guess. You did. This would have been the you last. You did guess. I mean, I didn't guess. I didn't guess what it was about. No. Yeah. You said anime. I said Easter. <laughs> Don't be scared. Come on. I'll oh, kill the rabbit. Rabbit. <clears throat> the bunny. Kill it. Yo, yo, rabbit. Yo, yo, rabbit. I'm trying to think these Nazis aren't good people. Fucking the bunny would like, I'll stab him in the dick. Leave the bunny alone. Poor <laughs> Jojo. What's wrong with you, man? They got you, didn't they? I, just, I know. Comes out all like, aww. It's his imaginary friend. They uh. wanted me to kill it. It's pretty ballsy to cast yourself as Hitler. Well, I mean, or not ask anyone else to do or it. Or is it better to do it so that you don't have to ask anyone else, you know? Hey, will you be Hitler? Like, no! I'll just do it. Now, lads, each of you will be given the opportunity to ignite and throw a oh, grenade. That's so dangerous for kids. I will personally be super Toss some weapons in the air! To make sure you don't blow your eyes out or something. He's first. <laughs> Do you know what he's doing? <laughs> oh, best! Run! Shit! Run! Shit! Don't do that. <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. How bad do you look? He looks alright. Yeah. I only see one side. He looks face. fine. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a pretty cool scar, actually. Oh yeah. It's not bad. Dude, no. that's a for pretty fortunate scar. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I thought it was gonna be like terrible, right? Hey! What the hell were they doing? What the fuck was going on here? You're looking fetching. Now he's got headphones on. I'm almost curious if she's imaginary. But she interacts with the other people, so. Yeah, she's real. She must be real. I think she must Taylor be is the only one that isn't real. Secret resistance meeting. Yeah. Freaking <coughs> banging Hitler. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know huh? I don't know what to expect. Huh? She has some sway somehow. Mama? Like a little room for someone to live in. Yeah. Hey, Inge lives in here. I don't know. Or lived in here? I don't know. Hi. Ah! Is that Inge? That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> of course you were. Uh, I wanted to say bless you, I'm like, I better not. Well, what will you do, sweet Hitler Shen? Hmm? Okay? Not okay. Where was she? I don't know. Maybe there's another hole. Get the hell out of my room. She has two knives. She's pretty rude, you know. Concentrate, Jojo. Remember, it's imaginary. Jew living yeah, yeah. in your wall is better than two Jews flying around with their bat wings, climbing down chimneys and eating innocent Nazis. <laughs> and don't give hell? them any more knives. Jews. <laughs> what a great way to exit the scene. <laughs> Thank you. No, drowning? The drowning, come on. Early, and there are no weak Jews. I am descended from those who wrestle angels and kill giants. We were chosen by God. You were chosen by pathetic little men who can't even grow a full mustache. <laughs> Stronger race, huh? What is she burning? What are you burning? She can't hear you. What are you burning? <laughs> 
<laughs> Why was he wearing that? I don't, I don't know. know. Why did you out the window when he left? That was funny. I am not that hungry. I might eat later. For now, I'm just going to chew on these grapes. Chew on these grapes. <laughs> so maybe I'll just finish yours. Don't want it to go to waste. Oh, gosh. We made a good kid, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, that's good. It reminds me of dancing with Rosie in the red salon. You remember, honey? Of course, I do, babe. I wish the left half of her face didn't have anything on it. <laughs> she could, like, flip, flip back and forth like two, two face. face flip it. Yeah. This is my special towel. Yeah, I get it. I, I said the same to draw thing. Draw oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that's where we live. In your head. <laughs> Come on, Schiffler. Let's get the move on. Schiffler? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you? I'm worried about you, man. Are you drunk? Again? Oh, that's good Come stuff. First, I thought he just stole that person's bike. Oh, okay. He might have. He has a bike. Look, I that we win. Take over a house and hang from the ceiling when we sleep. Like that. Why does she do oh. this? What? Thing just to fuck with him? Yeah, he's just house. fucking with him. Hey, what do you think about this uniform? I'm not sure about the hips on the pants. Should they be bigger? <laughs> bigger? Now, yeah. listen, Jojo, can style. I give you some really good advice? All right, time to walk the clones. <laughs> hey, I meant to there they are. Dogs, but when the city is attacked, not actually <coughs> German shepherds. <laughs> German shepherds. Oh my God, that's Get great. Get out of here! Now! 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 That's fantastic. Are these two? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hiya, kid. How can we have you today? There's a couple of moments where I'm like, there's, there's been a few. Russians to the east? My friends once met some Russians and they ate him. <laughs> what? She's like the person who always has to one up your story, but she gets right to the end. <laughs> so we need all hands on deck right now. What the hell? Gosh. Turn in metal. Okay. Hey. There's a gun! He has a huge gun on him. You're a soldier now? How do you recognize him? But you're only 11. Bye. Oh my god, it's so hard to run in this thing. His outfit made of paper? Paper like. Like, cause it, like, ha like, like hash or something? Oh. <laughs> okay. I was just trying to find out where we going. going. <laughs> uh, come on. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Hello, Hitler. Oh my God. Allow me to introduce oh, no. myself. I am Captain Hermann Dietz of the Falkenheim Gestapo. With me, second like guy's name, Stephen Merchant. Guess what it is? And have wash. May we come in? Thank you so much. This is the guy who came to steal the medallion from Indiana Jones. Yeah, right. Yeah. What are they looking for? Juice. Okay. Well, I mean, they're, they're Gestapo. They're. Mm -hmm. Hi Hitler. 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 Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> you know, Freddie Finkel. Hi Hitler. Hi Hitler. Hi Hitler. Hi Hitler. Oh no, man. Hi <laughs> Hitler. Look at this battle droid. It's like Roger, 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 Roger. No, no, we were just Heil Hitlering the boy, and then Heil Hitlering yourself, and then, of course, Heil Hitlering Freddie Finkel. And you and your friends may have heard a rumor that Hitler only has one ball. This is nonsense. He has four. Damn, I was close. I said, so you are volunteering at the Hitler Jugend office, yes? You must always carry your DJ knife. Where is it? I left her. It's here. Can't tell what's his sister. Who might you be? Well, who might you be? And what are you doing in my house? Can't you live here you. too. There is no need to attack his hideous physical deformity. <laughs> 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 this 
was like me whenever I got pulled over and knew I didn't have any insurance. I was yeah. like, I can't find the card. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. If you see anything suspicious, give us a ring. His face is so unsettling, isn't it? It is. It's because his eyes are not smiling. Why did they do that before? I know. They all hyped Hitler at the same time. <sighs> that was a tense scene. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what direction they could take this. That was a risky move, but it's probably the best move. You fooled them. You said it. Birthday's May 7th. Born on the 7th. What the and heck? he covered for her. Yeah, he covered for her. He was helping us. I'll be back. Figure out she's dead, then I'll be dead. I'll tell Mama everything when she gets home. That I know you, and that we're friends. That we're friends. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're not friends. You're 10, Jojo. Start acting like it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you just spit in their soup. That was a sink. He's like a personification of a 10 year old Nazi's indoctrination, right? Yeah. More than an imaginary friend. Something's gonna blow up. I'm looking for a car to run something over. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> it's his mom. No. She hasn't been there for a while. Man, that's why they showed the shoes and stuff so many times. Yeah. It's framing. It's like eyes. They all do, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Did you know? The eyes are close. She didn't tell me much. <clears throat> Only that she worked with her friends and her father was somehow involved from afar. Uh, I somehow didn't think this movie would get this heavy. Everybody's got a little. Unicorn. You okay? Oh, no! oh shit! Help me with this ammo. Oh my god, she's the back. Yeah. Terribly. We have to stop them before they eat us and screw all our dogs. It's crazy. <laughs> Kid looks like he could be like the son of the guy Nick Frost. Nick Frost. Yeah, yeah. that is from Chinatown. Exactly Den. Yeah. what I thought. That, that kid I was play thinking that too. It's like, man, if that's not his kid, they need to cast him as that. <laughs> I like how you guys got there, and I was. I yeah. Know, one dude. <laughs> so I thought about it a half hour ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on out there? 
Allah. Died. <laughs> Georgia, what's going on? He's gonna try to pretend it's still going on so that she stays. Yeah, she right. To come out. Well. It's weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> In it to the end. <laughs> gosh. Just do what you can. Where in the shit do you think you're going? The hell? He's all fucked Out. up. Out? Oh no, you don't. Uh, uh, Hire me? For once, for old time's sake? Hire me, little man? No. Hire me. Come no. Just a little lie. Just a little Please. Fuck off, Hitler. <laughs> oh, Holy shit! shit. <laughs> His wire oh, pulled him through that window. I, that's great. I know why he went through the window that time. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. That was amazing. All right, Jojo Rabbit. Hmm. If I had a hundred guesses. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I... From just the title, right? Just the title. You're like, hey, Jojo Rabbit, what do you think about Go? Yeah. Uh, Bunny. No. Especially knowing no. that Taika directed it. Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed this. I knew it was Taika Watiti, and I knew that he played Hitler. And I thought I knew that it was like an imaginary Hitler. A what? Imaginary. Imaginary. Yeah. I might have seen a trailer for it, maybe. I can't remember. Anyway. I have no idea what this is going to be about. It was really good. That little boy, I'm like, okay, boy, you're going to Boy Scouts. Okay. What are we doing here? And then, like, in the mirror, I'm like, was that Hitler? Well, I didn't know if you saw, like, the yeah. S, you know? I didn't even think about any of it. Like, I was just like... I, I saw know. him putting on the uniform, and I was like, okay. That was the best part of the Nazi reaction, youth. I think. It's just you guys just being like, wait a minute. But the fact that Hitler was actually there, I was like, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, she was going to do, like, an imaginary Hitler. Like, and that thing that works, too, because it's, like, in the kid's mind. So even if yeah. it, like, doesn't look exact or whatever, like, yeah. it works fine because it's... I mean, he was eating a fucking unicorn head, you yeah. know? Like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and it oh, wasn't, man. you know, it's not even just like, you know, it becomes like throughout the movie, it's like this is the the brainwashing the kid has gone through, you know? Sure, yeah. Like, you sympathize with this little Nazi boy. Well, <laughs> even know? like you have the mom yeah. who's talking to uh, uh, Elsa and yeah. saying like, you know, he's fanatic, you know, he... Mm -hmm. he he just believes what's going yep. on and stuff rather than and then like you know I, I imagine if you grew up in that and that's what you saw and that's what you were taught and you go to boy scout camp and that's mm -hmm. what, like Jews have horns and scales because they fucked a fish you know whatever the hell that she was saying like I suppose it's what you would believe you know like yeah. I don't know I believe a lot of stuff when I was a kid going to school sure. like maybe some of it's fake I don't know yeah <laughs> I don't learn that until later on kind of thing this is crazy and just the, like, you know, even in school, like, the amount of stuff that's that's shown to us is not nearly as much as as in wartime, you know? Sure. Or as how much stuff Absolutely. is just shoved down your throat. One, well, like, it's the propaganda side of it, yeah. right? There's a difference, too, between, like, what you get from school versus, like, propaganda or commercials or like, whatever. You don't and, have the names of the 50 states and their capitals plastered on every wall when you go down the street, you know? Yeah. Uh, it was a wholly unique movie. Oh, uh, yeah. I've seen a movie quite like that before. It's, I really enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite movies we've seen on the channel. It definitely I, I had was. A, a lot of fun, but it was just a really well-made movie. Yeah. There's a thing about, like, I don't know, there's, like, different styles of movies and stuff, but lots of times they feel the same. Yeah. And this was just, it felt different. Wholly unique. It you felt know? like a book. It did. Like I feel like it was a. Is it, I wouldn't be surprised if this was adapted from a book or something. Yeah. It's called Yuhu Ju or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's a few things that happened throughout throughout it that I'm glad like kind of had like a <coughs> kind of a reoccurring like, yeah. instance, like the uh, the what what could do, what can do kind of mm -hmm. thing. Like yeah, talking about the people what hanging. They it was like they what they do is like they did what they could. What they could. You know, and then like she mm -hmm. also said about like. Do what you can do, kind of thing. Yeah. And at the very end there too, right before he kicked Hitler out the window, yeah, he was like, "Do what you can do." Yeah. And yeah, I mean, you can said, see like her in him, sure. like when she, you know, that moment when she's like acting like the father and like out right for an adventure, you know, like you can yeah. see a lot of 
Is it uh, dangerous out there? Rosy Seemly. inside of him. Yeah. Yeah. Which was pretty pretty cool. I wonder what the dad was like. I don't know. If he's still alive. If he'll find him. Yeah. I don't know. I like that. There was also the shoe thing was a good way of doing it without actually just showing the mom. It's devastating. Yeah. Of just, because like they had the time where it's like the shoes were there yeah. and I'm like, that's a weird shot, but okay. And they did it again with her like up on, yeah. uh, like walking above him and stuff too. Mm-hmm. And, I'm like, and then when they did it the one time, you almost don't notice it right away. Yeah. And then you just zone in on the shoes and it's like, I mean, oh, it's very shit. economic. There's nothing in there you don't need. Like even just the emphasis on taking care of someone by doing their laces, you know? Yeah. Like, that came into it. Yeah. Again. I mean, how long was this movie? Because I didn't feel like it was like... An hour and 40 minutes? Hour 44. 40, yeah. Like, I didn't feel like it took a lot of time yeah. doing something it didn't need to do. Like, mm-hmm. most things had a point. It hinted in there that she, like, the mom was doing things, you know, helping yeah. other people and stuff. Yeah. Besides and just having, you know, a Jew in her attic or whatever. I love how disarming it is. Because you watch the beginning and you are watching through and you're like, okay, this is fun. But it's about it's about something very serious, so I mean to not take this too seriously, or else. And then it hits you in the like it hits you straight up when you see the shoes. It's like no, this is serious. This is just a young boy story, you know. Sure. Yeah. Regardless yeah, no. of the fact that he's a Nazi. No, I mean, yeah, you're right. Because they went from. You know what I wouldn't do? Watch only forty minutes minutes of it because it definitely changes after that <laughs> sure yeah <laughs> dude yeah but i mean like the show goes from like they're talking about like their jew book mm-hmm. and it's like stealing the ends of penises you know and like shit like that and you're like what <laughs> and then like then it goes to, like the gestapo coming in and it gets uh-huh. really tense it does and then you have the it was such a t- very tense yeah like a tarantino scene yeah i mean it definitely tenses up she's like man what the hell and then she shows up it's like oh, i'm inga and they go oh, shit is this gonna work yeah. What's going to happen? Because I'm like, I don't know. Is she going to get killed? Are they going to take her? Are they going to yeah. take the whole family? Like, I don't know. But, like, the mom stuff was also sad. But mm-hmm. the the thing with the Captain K, Sam Rockwell's character, I, was. I got emotional there when he's, like, saying about, like, your mom was a good person. Like, a actually good person. Yeah. And then spitting on him and calling him a Jew and stuff. Saving his life knowing he's going to get killed. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, like, Finkel wasn't there. I'm assuming Finkel had died. It's possible. And, like, it seems as if they had a relationship. Obviously, that wasn't allowed. Um, yeah. So he might he, have understood. He covered for them, you know. I mean, that's at a good first. link there of being yeah. like, he could understand, like, well, this isn't yeah. allowed. I'm an outsider as well, trying to blend in. Like, that kind of might fit with the idea of May 7th versus May 1st being the birthday, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. And it's, it's not like they come out and say it, they just have, like, these little subtle hints where it's like, is there something going on here? You know? Like, well,. Yeah, when the mom they, bursts in, how they're like they're gonna feed each like other, feeding him food and stuff. <laughs> oh man! But then you have like so you have like these complicated things where like not everything is as it seems, and then and then it goes ridiculous and it goes back to serious. But then you have like Rebel Wilson's character. Dude, she's ridiculous the entire like, time. She was ridiculous, and I just like was so happy when she blew up. You know? Yeah. But also, she made me laugh. Walk the clones. It, it, yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just a matter of, like... I mean, I would call them clones, too, if I was, like, you know, their camp council. Like, come on, they all look the same. Was it, on, was it that they all look the same, or was it kind of, like, hanging a hat on, like, the occult shit that, like, the Maybe. Nazis... I like, think it, it was, it, it you know? Because be. they were trying to... I mean, they tried all kinds Cloning of and Ark Covenant, zombies, and fucking... I don't know what else. Yeah. Those are just the ones I know from movies. <laughs> they did all kinds of shit, though. I, I, I don't know. I really enjoy it. I like the way the characters bounce off each other. Like Elsa playing in to this thing just because she's bored and the, is Like the Jew book thing? The yeah. Yoo-Hoo Jew? And like, she went along. I was wondering why she was going along with that Nathan thing. Yeah. But it was like fun that, you know, this kid's coming, bringing these notes. Yeah. And she probably likes to hear what notes he has to say. His fantasies of killing, killing Nathan, Nathan for so Killing much. Nathan? Yeah. And then when he finds out Nathan's actually dead, he's like, "Oh, well, who these... the fuck wrote this?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's such a good little kid reaction to being found out that they're they've been caught and alive. It was. Oh, man. this is awkward. Who weird. wrote this? Yeah, yeah. that's weird, man. <laughs> fucking, someone's been fucking with us. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've been gotten too. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> and then there was just, I mean, they just made fun of just some Nazi things too, which is funny. Yeah. I love the German Shepherd thing. That was so fucking funny. And then they're fighting at the end. Yeah. Uh, Dude, your Yorkie. Dude, that kid. That kid was so, that, that act, little actor is so good and like, they had like battle damage Yorkie, you know, and yeah. then he's like, you know, wearing like a tank top and dog tat, like, you know, veteran Yorkie. Yeah. And he, it just, everything rolls off his back. He's just like, it is what it is, <laughs> you know? I love that kid. And yeah, I definitely saw a lot of Nick Frost in him. Looked like a little Nick Frost. Like, there was that one shot right when I was saying it in the, during the vi- the movie. Like, I was just like, that guy looks like yep. the guy in Shaun of the Dead, but not uh, the main dude. Mm-hmm. I can't even think of his name. Yep. <laughs> but whatever. Simon Pegg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looks like the guy that's always with Simon Pegg that's not Simon Pegg. Yeah. Nick Frost. Who's him? Yeah. Yeah, he was in... Is that was the one dude you call you <coughs> his name the tall guy from the Gestapo? Yeah, is he the, like the tall guy that like Steven will rap Merchant. on like Jimmy Kimmel or Fallon or whatever it was and stuff? Like, is it that guy? Stephen Merchant and uh, is it the same one? Uh, the guy from the, the British Office. Fuck, why yeah. am I forgetting his name right now? Which What's guy? It? The main guy? Jervis? Yeah. Jervis? Ricky Gervais. Gervais. Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant have like worked together for like a long, long, long time. But I know Stephen Merchant from Yeah, Extras. this is who I'm thinking of. I was thinking of... He was in... Um, no, I know he... Okay. He was in Lip Sync Battle. Gotcha. You know a lot from Lip, Lip Sync <laughs> Battle, don't you? Yeah. Look at his British <laughs> Oh, my God. But, like, I was just like... Wearing... Ashless Chaps. Right, I got it. <laughs> yeah. That's all I need right there. Well, he's good for a lot, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah no, I, mean, I don't him. really know him from anything except sure. for, like, things like that. And I think he did some kind of rap on, like, a Jimmy Fallon thing at some point and stuff. But I don't remember. Anyway. Have you ever seen the Liam Neeson scene from that show? I think it was called Extra or something like that. It was, uh, it was Warwick Davis's show. Like starred in the show, and then Stephen Merchant and Ricky Gervais and Warwick Davis and Ian uh, McKellen. Uh, McKellen. Oh, not Ian McKellen. McDermott. No. Ian McDonald. Well, well, I'm, I'm going crazy right now. Quite gone. Huh? Quite Liam, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, not oh, Ian. Okay. Liam. I, I think like... I said Ian Neeson. <laughs> I don't know. Ian Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson. I'm thinking about lost up right now. Um, but they they have this scene in the show that's. We'll have to watch it at some point, but it's so fucking funny. I, I've died laughing so many times watching it. Anyway, let's go check that out. I, anyway, Stephen Merchant, he was very good in this. He was very, like, I don't know, they emphasized his height and lankiness. Sure, you know? like when yeah. him and Sam Rockwell were there yeah. together. Like, I don't think the size difference between Sam Rockwell and that Stephen much? Merchant that is much. that much. Yeah. Like, Sam Rockwell, he's a bit shorter guy. Obviously, Stephen Merchant, he's really tall, but I don't think there's, like... That's big. Yeah. I don't think there's like two feet between them. <laughs> also, though, felt like he was kind of funny, but also had like a menacing feeling about yeah. it. Yeah, because he was and like playing as though he were lighthearted, but his sure. eyes weren't smiling. And that's the smiled. that's like the worst ones. Like he's messing with, he's like there with kids and stuff. But I guarantee, if they'd have found out that she was a Jew, he'd have taken them both away, yeah. and it wouldn't have been. Oh yeah, you know, it'd be like that. He had like that sweet, but like he was like the evil inside kind of thing. It feels like that's he's smiling thought. because he enjoys his job. Do you, sure. Do you think they visited because they caught her? Like we didn't see her. I before, don't know. You know. I think so. I was wondering that because he was like, "Where's your mom at? Have you seen her?" Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if they were there because they were looking for her and they yeah. found her later on. But also, Sam Rockwell's character was like, "Stay home. You know, mm-hmm. you keep your sister safe." Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I. I could see it going either way where they had already got her. I or... didn't think that it was just a routine check because they showed up with. Six mm-hmm. Gestapo guys. Yeah. Hail Hitler. Hail Hitler. Hail Hitler. <laughs> Hail Hitler. It's just like you can have a scene like that, and then it's also tense, and these they might, you know, murder this girl. You know, like it's yeah. it's playing with some themes, but it was incredibly like some incredible sadness, it's incredible uncomfortableness, but it's so funny. Like when Yorkie's like, we have to stop the Russians before they eat us and screw all our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, right? <laughs> oh god! The stories they made up about the enemies, like yeah, I know. I mean, it's 
I, I did, some of them just think war vilification. Yeah, part of me just wonders like how much of that is them just really like mi- like pushing it, yeah. and how Definitely. much is like things that like what was really yeah. said, you know? I mean, also like coming up with the things about the Jewish people, but then at one point she like is tired of it, and she's like, you know. Like, we're the people who, you know, wrestled angels and killed giants, you know? Like, Jacob wrestling with angels and David killing Goliath, Mm -hmm. you know? Like, I like seeing that pride come out in her. Sure. Why do you think she took off whenever it's like, you know, we like shiny things? It's like, do you like ugly things? And then she, like, disappeared. Like, was it because it was nodding towards him? Or was it, like, I wasn't sure why she left during that point. I don't know. It was weird. Because like, he turned back and she was just gone. And back in her little hole. Yeah. I mean, he had that moment of, like, reflection of, like, you like ugly things. And then looking at himself, right? That's the ugly thing. It's like, oh, well, she would like me. And I like her. <laughs> like, his, yeah, he won't stay out of my room, Frankenstein. Hey, leave this ter- this boy's terrible facial deformity <laughs> alone, or- yeah, that was funny. It's like, there's just, no need to make fun of his yeah. you know, terrible, gross. Like, yeah, he's just like really just hammered it in. <laughs> and all she said yeah. was Frankenstein. Horrifying physical. Deformity. Frankenstein isn't even the. That's yeah. the doctor. That's the doctor. <laughs> I could, uh, I could definitely feel Taika Waititi's style and direction coming from JoJo's actor. Like yeah. just his cadence and the like. You know, you can, you know, he has like a specific yeah. feeling. He plays Hitler in this. Like, there was something about him where you could tell, like, he put a lot of direction to this kid. How old is this movie? A uh, couple years. Is it? Yeah. yeah. The last two years. I wasn't two, sure. Three years. Like, I have no idea. You said, did you say 2001? 2019, I think. You say it won awards? I thought it was up for Oscars. Oh, up for an Oscar? Yeah. But it didn't win an Oscar? Just I don't think it won. Let me look here. Jojo Rabbit. I like to do this after I've seen a new movie. Yeah, 2019. Listed as a war drama on Google. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see some of this stuff about it because I'm curious. It won one Oscar. I oh, did it. Yeah. For uh, best adapted screenplay, so it must have been from a book or something. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Very good crew uh, um, reviews. It was very well received. I always loved looking at trivia after I've seen a movie. Sure. The first one is when Taika Waititi, who is uh, Moray and Jewish, was asked why he chose to play Adolf, play the role of Adolf Hitler. He said, the answer is simple. What better fuck you to that guy? <laughs> a Jewish guy <laughs> playing. You play him? That's funny. And that's, that's all great. I need to hear. So, I like that. That's pretty good. I mean, that's a good point. I also thought it was like... Yeah. Like, is it easier just, like, I'll just play Hitler myself versus, sure. like, trying to find like, someone who Like he's play taking Hitler. one for the team. Kind, kind of, of yeah. It's yeah. like, who, yeah. like, do people want to play Hitler? Mm-hmm. Like, is that a coveted role? <laughs> There's got to be, Doubt like, it. some guys that are, like... If you're too good at it, really you good at playing career. Hitler, you know, that are pissed that this guy's coming in taking his Hitler role. Yeah, and then they get, like, stuck where, like, that's the only role they get. Yeah. Like, I can only play Hitler. Yeah. Kind of like Carlton. Typecast. like typecast. Yeah, he's typecasted, you know? Yep. Yeah, that would suck to be typecasted as Hitler. As Hitler? It's like, fucking, I can't hire him, he's Hitler. You know? Like, yeah, it's a ballsy. That's, if that's your most memorable role, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a ballsy movie, though, because if you don't get everything right, it, it, it it's not going to look great, you know? No. It's, sure. It's yeah. a hell of a subject matter. You I, know, it's child soldiers and, you, yeah. know, br- you know, genocide. I and, think it, like, walked the line really well, you know? Yeah. Like, threading the needle of, like, you gotta get in there. You can't hit any of these sides. Yeah, like yeah. right. It's like operation. You gotta get right in there. And yeah. like, you gotta have that humor in there, but then it also hit with like some serious stuff too. But like it, it, it I feel like it kind of hit in just the right spots when it needed to. Yeah. Versus like fucking, uh, uh, you know, like can I you feel do like that it, or? I feel like it dangled our feet over the pool mm-hmm. of a lot of different things, and I, I feel like the child's perspective. In that really helps it Definitely. like not go too deep into yeah. things. 
Sure. You know? And it's like getting into his psyche of how he views everything and then how his viewpoint changes too as it goes on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You say about dangling in the pool, that made me think of just Hitler just swimming in a, <laughs> swimming, swimming in a swimming pool. With a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> like swimming around. Oh, oh, man. But yeah, it had that like, kind of like hyper reality, but also grounded in a couple scenes and then just child's ridiculousness. I feel like you have to have that grounded kind of moment. Yeah. Especially considering that they had the like the hidden Jew kind of storyline going on. It's like yeah. there's gonna be some serious moments at some point. Like what's gonna happen here? Yeah, sure. Like it can't just be comedy the whole time, I don't think. Unless it's just the idea of like they just have to survive in this house and it's like a, a bunch of antics occur while trying to make sure that she stays hidden until mm-hmm. the war is won or something, you know? But like, you could go into, like, you know, film theory and be like, well, I mean, these events really did happen, but we don't see them as the way they actually happened. Sure. We're only seeing them through the, through the point of view of a 10-year-old trying to process how they happened, you sure. know. And I, think, I think also, too, like, the idea of, like, making it where it's not, well, we're making a joke about what occurred with mm-hmm. World War II. Like, having that serious moment really kind of brings it back to being yeah. more grounded sure. into what happened, you know, yeah. and how, like people's lives were affected and mm-hmm. one girl talking about how like her uh family was on a train they were sent to where they don't come back from yeah. like my my grandma has a friend that uh she met and she's visited for like holidays sometimes and stuff but the last time she saw her parents were they were taken away in that situation and she's ne- she never saw them again and it's like that that stuff really happened you know yeah her name is lisa she has some very interesting stories yeah very interesting, interesting viewpoints of like Different things, yeah. having, having lived through that, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, it's a very good movie. Um, I, it's definitely something I'll watch again, you know? Like, that's one of those movies, like, oh, I'm going to put this on, because it's definitely got some replayability, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm curious, too. Great like, cast. Different elements that they have, like, throughout it. Except, like, yeah. like I know, it's like the shoelaces and mm-hmm. the, the one line of doing what they could do kind of sure. thing. Sure kept popping up and I wonder if like there's some other things too that they just kind of kept kind of seeding yeah what else can we catch yeah. yeah and I feel like they might be in there and it's just like watching it again you might see those so. and just a very well done movie like the cinematography especially I really like the scene where they're at like uh, Rosie and Jojo are at like uh, oh, the steps that you pointed out Calvin yeah like the shots on all that were fantastic <laughs> like the the shots of the you know the brash, arrogant men going off to war and then coming back shell-shocked, yeah. you know? Uh, like, yeah, just, yeah. you know, the the ridiculousness of the war scene at the end, you know, with everything that's happening, but you're trying to think, like, what's really happening and what, sure. you know, JoJo's really scared and hiding. Like, something. is there a mixture of what he's seen yeah. and stuff? Though I did like Sam Rockwell's, like, his thing that he said he was going to wear because yeah. they're wearing that thing. And it's yeah. flamboyant and, you know, and it's, yeah. it's he, he's a lot of pride in what, he, what he's done there. I mean, so. I'm sure he figured that that was going to be his last yeah. opportunity to, yeah. to literally show mm-hmm. his colors. He was wearing mascara. Yeah. In those scenes as well, so. And eyeshadow. And yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. It was it good. Was, it was shot very well. It was it done was. very well. My favorite shot was probably the fuck you, Hitler. You just kick him through that damn window. He just like <laughs> folded. He just folded. <laughs> <He's> just... Yo! <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this movie uh, reaction. We're going to have more movie reactions, one out every single week, and you can watch up to the next four reactions. There's a list down in the description of what those four are uh, over the next four weeks, but over at patreon.com slash blindly, you can check them out right now. So go check that out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.